we're going downhill. Hey, I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, and I'm sitting in a 2021 Mazda CX-30 Premium, and I just wanted to show you real quick the cylinder deactivation. So this is a front wheel drive, front wheel drives, all wheel drives, both have this. Of course, just the standard engine, no turbo will have the cylinder deactivation. So I'm going to show you how to get to the, the monitoring, then take it up and down the road real quick so you can see it in action. All right, so on the seventh generation home screen, we're going to scroll up to information, hit this first option, which is the fuel efficiency monitor. Then you'll see this actually tracks in a bar graph set up your current fuel economy and um, average. So you can see that uh, this one has not been driven a lot. Then we're gonna hit the menu as you see on the left. Then we have an option of a, the fuel efficiency history as we were just on, or the energy flow monitor. That's the option we want to go to. So energy flow monitor shows the cylinder deactivation status. So we're going to go up and down the road as best we can to show you these click on and click off. And most of the time we'll be in four cylinders as we are now in park. But as we let off the throttle in some situations or go downhill um, under light loads, we may kick into just two cylinders. So let's check it out and get going. And we do have a pretty heavy rain coming on, so maybe a little bit noisy. So we're accelerating here. You see we've got all four cylinders. I'm zoomed in tight here just so we can try to make out all those details and being darker probably helps us. You see I let my foot off the throttle and so we don't have any Thing. Yes, the engine's still running, but it's not under a load here. See right now I'm going downhill, barely touching the accelerator, and I, I have dropped to just two cylinders. Now if I let my foot off the accelerator all the way, you see that right now they're showing none because we're just kind of rolling or cruising. Yes, the engine's going and burning fuel, but it's not under a uh, load or using any power. And that's one thing you'll notice with the cylinder deactivation is it's usually when you barely depress the accelerator. So for those of you that are against this, know that when you are, unless you're in cruise control, whether you don't control the throttle, if you, you know, usually uh, depress the accelerator more than usual all the time, you'll probably never be in a two-cylinder setup. For those of you that are fans of this to save fuel economy, as you saw there just as I was letting off uh, the accelerator jump two cylinders, now we're at a red light. So we'll be firing on uh, all cylinders at a stop here. But for those of you that are for this technology, its original intent is to save fuel. So uh, if you barely touch the accelerator in situations when you aren't uh, needing to uh, immediate acceleration as a takeoff, but maybe just cruising down the road, like right now the speed limit's 50 miles per hour. When you're kind of at that 50 range, uh, you can just barely let back on the accelerator and you see like I am right now you're in two cylinders and saving some fuel and this is what your cruise control does very well um, is it, it monitors this to get the best fuel economy possible so again I'm just speed limits 50 I'm going 42 because I'm barely pushing the gas so let me get up to 50 here just hold back a little bit and there's your two cylinders and actually with this uh, incline slight incline and then of course the uh, terrain here you can see I couldn't stay there for long because it won't uh, let me I'm, I'm, I'm losing speed in that scenario 
I've got the brake applied going a little bit down here, hill stopping to make a turn. All right, so again, in a takeoff scenario, they'll, they'll definitely all be firing. So I'm at, uh, exceeded the speed limit, so I'm letting off and here I am at two cylinders again. Let me also mention that I'm very thankful for automatic wipers in a scenario like this. All Mazdas have automatic wipers now. So I'm just hovering around the 50 miles per hour and you can see it's just going back and forth depending on how much I uh, accelerate or depress the pedal. And if I let all the way off it, it you know, there's no, no load or no pull there. Okay, so just for giggles, before we get to the dealership here, I turned the uh, cruise control on, the rain's slacking off a little bit, and I've got my cruise control set to 42. We're going downhill you see it just uh, again have my foot off the pedal cruise control we're in two cylinders now back to four as we start to go uphill and need to speed up to get to that 42. downhill a little bit and two cylinders. There you have it. 